What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So I'm back once again with another preview and predictions for Crown Jewel 2022 this year, man. Uh, I'm looking forward to this uh, event, this uh, PLE as they call them, uh, this premium live event. It should be a good one. Uh, there's some matches on this card I'm actually looking forward to. So we're going to get right into it. I'm going to give my predictions on who will win and why and you know potentially where they take things going forward so we're going to start with the women's tag team championship match alexa bliss and oscar versus damage control so apparently they're going to have a a match alexa and oscar just won the women's tag match uh this on monday night raw which i was not expecting so apparently they're going to have a rematch at crown jewel um honestly here's the thing here's the thing i think what they're gonna do here um since they lost the titles which was kind of kind of a shocking situation i think alexa and oscar is gonna retain it doesn't make sense for them to drop the titles just seven days later i don't like the the you know back and forth of titles they need to have some type of you know rain if if you're gonna put the titles on someone it shouldn't be for seven days that's just my opinion it just kind of devalues it so i think they're going to retain will it be a good match i think it will be okay i don't think it's gonna be uh i did for the most part i, I was enjoying the match they had on monday night raw i think it's gonna be more or less the same there um but oscar and alexa bliss will most likely retain the titles but i think it's going to be a setup for something later on in the show between bailey and um bailey and um um bianca Belair. i think there's there's more to be said about that so i think they do just retain the titles here um we got the undisputed tag team champions the usos versus the brawling brutes uh i think this is going to be a fun match i think it's going to be great I'm going to go with the Usos obviously retaining here. They're not losing any, I, w I wouldn't say anytime soon, but they're not going to lose here. This match will be fun. This match could steal the show. I hope it does. Uh, they really work well together with the Brawling Brutes. So I think this match will be a good one, but I'm just going with the Usos to retain. It just makes sense. doesn't make sense to take it off them. Brawling Brutes are great, but it doesn't make sense to take it off them yet. Next. We have uh, the OC versus the Judgment Day. Now, this I'm 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 really, really, really kind of like I, I'm 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 gonna focus in on this match. If you know, if you know me, you know why. First and foremost, I hope at some way somehow Rhea catch the beats. That's that's all I care about. Rhea catching the beats. Dominic, he's gonna catch the beats by default, so I'm gonna always be happy with that. But you know what? I would pull us pull a swerve. I think a lot of people going in thinking Judgment Day will win. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the OC winning. You just brought these guys back to help AJ Styles. In my opinion, it doesn't make sense for them to come into the mix and they just lose together. You want to build up another credible faction. I think it would be perfect for the OC to win. Now, here's the thing. What I think would be cool is if we have some interference. Of course, we have Edge comes into the mix. And then I would love, and I pray this happen, please, Triple H, make this happen. I would love to see um, uh, Beth Phoenix get, get her one up, get her run back, run her fade with... Um, with uh uh Rhea Ripley man I think that would be a nice little comeback I I hope they do that and because of that it causes the OC um uh, it causes um it causes uh, uh the OC to get the victory off of the edge in in uh Beth Phoenix return so I'm going with that one OC winning in this match man all right so we have uh match i'm not really looking forward to and i think a lot of people are kind of just like whatever about it braun Strowman versus omos <sighs> look anytime omos even hops up on the scene like anytime he's on camera i instantly don't care this i don't care I, I'm, I'm glad braun Strowman is back 
I don't care about Omos. I think they're going to put Braun Strowman over. I just, Omos is not it. He's 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 the great colleague, pretty much. Omos is not it. He's just very tall. At least Braun Strowman, he's, he's okay. He's serviceable in the ring. He definitely has the look. I'm going Braun Strowman winning this match. Uh, it should, if anything, the only thing I can say they can do is cause some carnage and chaos, you know, before the bell rings or something like that. That's the only thing I can think of. But I'm going Braun Strowman winning over Omos so we can be done with this feud and potentially maybe have Braun Strowman move towards maybe Roman Reigns in the future. Who knows? You know, they can definitely build a feud off of Braun Strowman trying to get his trying to run the the fade with roman since they do have history so maybe they go there next but i do not want to see a rematch of this have braun Strowman win and we move on with our day now a match i'm looking forward to next drew mcintyre versus karen cross the steel cage match now i've been really thinking about this for days since they announced this drew needs a win drew needs a win here carrying cross i feel like can take a loss here and i know some of you but oh you're gonna have them lose you want to extend the feud because outside of that you don't really have anyone else for carrying cross to face because if he beats drew again this time then what's the point who he's gonna face he's gonna go for roman next i mean maybe you can do something with carrying cross and braun Strowman, but i think you save that way later because you're trying to build up as carrying cross as a, com a credible threat the same thing with braun so i have drew winning this i have drew winning the steel cage but the feud's not over i think this will be a fun match i think they're going to have a good showing um and i'm looking forward to it so i have drew overcoming the odds winning this match and they can and carrying cross cannot let that go and they continue the feud at some point they continue the feud uh you know maybe at the next pay-per-view so that's just my take on it i'm gonna go with drew mcintyre winning this match because he needs it and just to extend the feud to maybe one more match another potentially interesting one bobby lashley versus brock lesnar now who do i really want to win here i really want brock I mean, Bobby Lashley to win. Do I think they are going to give Bobby Lashley the rub? I hope they do. I I hope they do. Because it, in my opinion, even though Bobby Lashley did win their last outing, it was obviously because of interference. That's why he won his last outing. It was because of interference. It wasn't because Bobby beat him. I think they're probably going to get a win of Brock. I just don't see them paying brock good money for him to lose since he already lost to bobby on paper already granted once again assist for roman reigns he already lost to him i think they're gonna get a win to brock here i would love for bobby to beat him clean with no help but they're going to give the win to brock lesnar here dub is not going to be happy about it sorry but i just feel like that's what's going to happen so brock will win i don't want him to win but Brock will win this match. I think it will be a serviceable match. Hopefully, they really give them some time. And hopefully, it's just not a whole bunch of suplexes all day. I hope Bobby Lashley is able to get some real offense. Because I feel like their first match, it, Bobby had a little bit of offense at the beginning. And then he pretty much was just getting squashed throughout the match. I did not like that. I hope they really have Bobby show like, yo, I deserve to be in a ring with you. At least do that for him. Make it so Brock is like really have to fight to get this win. That's all I'm saying. We got the Raw Women's Championship. Bianca Belair versus Bayley in a last woman standing match. Um, honestly, I'm thinking if you're going to have, in my opinion, I think Damage Control is not going to win the titles back. They're obviously going to get involved in this match. They're going to do everything they can to make sure Bailey wins. I think Bailey's winning this. She has to win this match. She has to. There's no room for her to not win. If she does not win this match, damage control. They're not. 
they're not doing any damage to anybody. I'm just keeping it on. Keep it to stack with you. She needs to win this. At least she can be, oh, she can be the one to have the women's championship and damage control have her back. Even if they don't have the titles. That's why I said earlier, I think this is going to stem into something where damage control will not regain the titles, but they will be the reason ultimately Bailey wins this last women's standing match. I think this is going to be fun. I can't wait to check it out. I think they're going to put on a good show. And I do believe Bailey will come out here victorious as the new Raw Women's Champion, which I'm okay with because Bianca's had a pretty good run. Her run has been quite enjoyable. I have enjoyed it, but I think it's time for Bailey to 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 get the get the title back. It just makes sense. It's time for her to be a champ and to heal and to have this faction, and we can go from there. So I'm going with Bailey to win the last women's standing match for the Raw Women's Championship, and finally, the main event. Of course. The Undisputed WWE Universal Championship, Roman Reigns versus Logan Paul. I don't even, I don't even have to say anything, bro. Roman Reigns is retained. It's as simple as that. Triple H is not about to have Roman Reigns drop the titles to Logan Paul. This was only set up to build up some hype and, 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 and build up some hype for Crown Joe. That's it. That's it. Literally, that is it. There's there's no other reason this match is happening. This will be his third wrestling match. What? There's no what there is a zero, and I say zero percent chance Logan Paul wins. You want to know why? Because it just doesn't make sense. Logan Paul winning in his very third match ever against Roman Reigns, who's almost He's, he's in God mode right now. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? And I see people doing the clip baked thumbnails of Logan Paul holding up both the championships and they edited it, you know, like that in Photoshop. I'm not even going to put that thumbnail there. I'm not even going to do that to y'all. <laughs> I'm not believing in that. I don't think anyone's believing in that. Roman Reigns will walk out once again. As your undisputed WWE Universal Champion. And that's it. Do I think the match will be good? I think the match will be great. Logan Paul has gotten some type of rhythm on how to, you know, approach these matches. It's going to be different with someone as a veteran like Roman Reigns. So it's going to be really different. But I do think Logan Paul is going to show out. I think it's going to be some moments where they tease. He may do it. But I think ultimately the bloodline is too strong. Logan Paul loses this match. And uh, yeah, Roman Reigns will retain and continue to uh, be the head of the table, man. So that is my preview and predictions for Crown Jewel. There's maybe like, there's really only one match I'm not really looking forward to is the Braun Strowman versus Omos match. That's the only match I'm really not looking forward to. Everything else, there's there's some intrigue and interest in. So uh, not a bad card, you know, and I feel like they're going to be doing some continuations of storylines. One thing I can appreciate this about this card is it doesn't, it's not filled with, you know, like, I guess you could say like part-timers or or legends act like some of the other crown jewel cards were filled with sometimes you know because you know they wanted to make it this grandioso event i like the a lot of these matches are feud uh continuation matches and i'm looking forward to seeing where things happen and where things play out so comment down below let me know you guys looking forward to a crown jewel this saturday also who do you think will win who do you think will lose but i appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel we are so close to 1k i appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next week. peace